Hello everyone and welcome to MCTV. I'm Molly and this is my fabulous show. So today we have Cam with us and we are going to talk about Halloween because you know it's October and Halloween's obviously a very big holiday in college. So I'm gonna talk to Cam here and see what he thinks about Halloween and what goes on. So Cam, what do you think about Halloween in college and the importance of the holiday and how the college kids perceive it here? Well, first of all, Molly, thank you very much for having me on. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, you know, I think for, for college kids, Halloween has taken on a completely different meaning from how uh, they used to perceive it when they were younger. Um, in high school, I think the holiday, to an extent, fell off. Okay, I think it, you know, in middle school and, and grade school, obviously you were with your friends, you went trick-or-treating, um, and it was a one-day event. You know, it happened the night of Halloween. I think uh, with college these days, it's not so much Halloween the day, it's more hollow weekend. So you have the weekend leading up to this day to have various parties and, and social events, whether it be on campus, whether it be in New York City, since we do go to Manhattan College. Um, so, you know, I think this year Halloween falls on a Tuesday, but you have to be looking at that entire weekend before as the opportunity to have fun and, and celebrate this Halloween um, that we once knew at a completely other level. But. So how do you think that Halloween here is at Manhattan College is different from Halloween at other schools? Great question. Well, Manhattan College is in the city, so that gives us access to a number of different venues, whether it be in Manhattan, whether it be in Brooklyn, for instance, Hollow weekend, I'm going to a concert, you know, in the South Bronx, which is fun stuff. But, you know, if I was a student who went to, say, Penn State, some state school or whatever, you don't have that accessibility, you know. You're kind of on campus. Not saying that you're not having fun, but I think at Manhattan College, because we have all of these um, opportunities to explore the city and there's all different types of events going on, we have more options than your standard house party, <coughs> pardon me, than your standard house party um, and stuff like that. Now, we do have some house parties, for sure, but I think in addition we have other opportunities, being that we are in, in the Bronx here. So what's the most fun thing you've done at Halloween since your time here? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm a senior here at Manhattan College, so I've experienced uh, three Halloweens. Um, mo man, most fun. I mean, I've been to a number of house parties, being part of a fraternity adds to that. Um, so, uh, gosh, yeah, I think uh, two years ago, we hosted, uh, my fraternity hosted an event at Gaelic Park, which was, you know, in terms of a party, it was a home run. I mean, we had a, a bunch of, you know, way more than like 300, 400 people. It was a great night for the fraternity. Everyone had fun. Um, everyone was in costume. So it really added to the whole Halloween aspect. And uh, that was probably my favorite memory uh, when you think about Halloween, the, the weekend, uh, was, that, was that particular party. And so does Manhattan College have any traditions for Halloween that you could tell the freshmen about? Hmm. Um, from a social standpoint, no, not so much. It really depends who you're, who you're rolling with, who your friends are, what are they doing. Um, like I said, there's a number of events that your friends can take advantage of in New York City. It's a matter of Googling it, you know, for, for some kind yeah. of fun activity. However, um, from an organizational standpoint, you know, we have events on campus. We have this event called Safe Halloween, which is really interesting because we give the opportunity for little kids who uh, live in these disenfranchised neighborhoods to actually be able to finally go trick-or-treating because they live in these um, unsafe territories where trick-or-treating is a little suspect and questionable. So uh, Manhattan College provides the little guys with the opportunity to go trick-or-treating you know, in some of our learning centers like De La Salle, like Miguel, and different clubs and organizations set up a haunted house or something to that extent and gives the opportunity for these kids to actually experience Halloween like most kids do in America. And so how do you think that event, because that sounds like a really good event, how do you think that's impacted the Manhattan College community and the Bronx community around us? How has it impacted? Well, I think what's important here is that it's a tradition. Um, this has been going on far before I became, became a Jasper. Um, so the fact that uh, we've been doing it for so long, I think, adds to a positive reputation with, within the Bronx community. I think it's wonderful that um, we have um, you know, different organizations who come together annually to do this kind of event. And it's been continuing for a number of years. 
So it's, it can only do us good and provide you know, um, a good reputation for the institution here. And so what do you also think about, there's definitely probably a lot of adults, not only around this area, but everywhere across the country who probably think, oh, college kids are too old for Halloween. What are they doing? They just want to party. What do you think about these comments? Well, I mean, there was a popular saying in the early 2010s, I think, you know, YOLO. You only yeah. live once, <laughs> right? Um, as, a, as someone who's in this position right now in college, I realize that I'm a senior. And, you know, I'd be lying to you if I told you I was not going to take advantage of this Halloween weekend. I mean, it's, you only get four of them if you're lucky. And, you know, here I am. What do I have to say about it? I mean, I'm not in a position, I don't think, to really even have much of an opinion because I'm not older. You know, I think once you become an adult, the vision of a Halloween, you're still probably organizing parties and you probably still are having social events. However, maybe not as rowdy. And if you're an adult, you know, you probably might have kids. So you're organizing parties for your kids and you're still kind of going trick-or-treating. So I think in a way it comes full circle. However, I don't think I'll be celebrating Halloween to the degree that I am this year or that I have in the past years as I will in like the next five years or so before I, you know, settle down or whatever it is. All right. Well, that's good. Thank you for answering the questions today, informing all the Jaspers about Halloween around here. Thank you so much for everybody watching and listening today. This is my show that doesn't have a name, but I'm Molly. So thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>